everybody, my name is Guillaume. I'm a live sound engineer that run a YouTube channel on his spare time for the few that I have. Uh, I talk mostly about the Behringer Wing and anything else that I can basically put my hands on that is uh, relevant to the world of live event. And recently, I was on the lookout for wireless communication. Uh, some of you guys probably know the other brand that has clear communication, if you can read between the line here. And after looking at the price from the other brand, I was like, uh, maybe there are alternative options that are fairly good uh, at a reasonable price. And I came to Came TV. Uh, the communicate, the communic, communic eight. If they are working as advertised, because they promise a really long range and they promise a really long time of work time. If they work as advertised, they seem to me like a really, really good and more affordable option than the other brand of clear communication out there. As a disclaimer, yes, Kame TV did send me out these headphones, but no money change and and they do not have any input on the outcome of that video. The opinion of the product is my own and I cannot be bought by just a pair of headsets. So let's take a look at what's inside. Ooh, really nice. We have a carrying case. Interesting. Just a case. If if you want to buy a case like this, it's going to be expensive. A from a reputable brand waterproof case like this will worth around a hundred to three hundred dollar, depending on the brand. So let's see what we got inside. Nice. We got the manual, we've got wall charger, North American one, and they do charge over USB-C, so that's really, really fun. I live in 2024, everything is basically connecting over USB-C, or most of the stuff that I own, my computer, my phone, so this is an extra USB-C charger, and that will also uh, give me option to have spare if this one actually die on me. I probably have another one in my backpack. That will do the job, so great that's the information that's the battery charger there are space for four batteries in here i believe they include four batteries uh with the headset and i'm probably gonna get myself another extra four battery just to always have four on the charger and four in the headset so that way you never run out of batteries looks like it's made out of pvc plastic the microphone arm seems to be solid um we have the battery compartment the battery compartment here what do we have in here oh the battery and they put it in the back so it doesn't make contact from what i heard these are commonly available batteries so they're not proprietary so you can basically buy a battery like that on your favorite online store amazon ebay whatever uh, if i ever found some amazon link for you they will be down in the description with the link to get a uh, system from Kim TV, let's let's give this a try. And it's gonna go like this: three pin here, three pin here. All right, let's put powering on. In this four pack, and I believe in every pack, you will have a main and slave uh, headset. The master headset should be letter A. Your headset is connected. Oh. This one just detected that this one is on. The uh, headset uh, mic all the way up is gonna mute your communication. So if I'm, okay, I'm actually hearing this one already. So this one is, as a blue light, it's connecting, communicating, and I can tap the mic and I hear it here. So if I'm doing this, this now, this is now mute. And if I'm doing this, it tells me in my headphone mute off and I can probably try to talk uh, into this. The fit so far is good. It's adjustable on both sides and I purposely choose the one here version uh, because when you're doing like corporate event like I do, you wanna be able to hear what's going on around you still. Uh, and oh yeah, I need to mention that they 
are uh, switchable from left to right. The microphone goes basically from this all the way there. So I can use it like this, and if I were mixing a corporate event, I can still, you know, mix sound with one here. Let me remove that little uh, windscreen here. We can see the microphone. Okay. So the microphone has a side. Make sure that you are using it the right way. Sound quality wise, you, you, you can hear this is limited, but it's really focusing on the vocal range. So if you have the mic uh, right there, you're probably gonna hear fine what somebody uh, somebody is saying. It's not the most hi-fi thing ever, but not having the full spectrum uh, is probably gonna help you hear a vocal better. So the person that is talking into that headset, if you bring it here and there's a lot of low end, there's a lot, uh, there's a band playing, so you get a lot of well, full range frequency. If you are limiting the microphone to only capture your voice, and because this is a condenser, it's gonna try to pick up the closest source uh, to that microphone, so the closest source will be you. And if you have, you know, subwoofer or higher end frequency, it will pick up less than that, so the message should be clearer or less uh, busy with other stuff. Now moving on, do we have anything else in uh, that box? We got the four headsets, some stickers, I'm gonna use one of the provided stickers uh, to put on my A headset. And I don't know if it's on purpose, but they seem to include battery doors. It's really fun to see that they care of their customer. This is something that may break, you know, eventually. And if they provide you with extra door, it's a big thumbs up. They definitely do not have to do this. So I'm really happy to have some extra. I'm gonna do a quick RTFM uh, here just to validate that as long as the A headset is on, uh, they should communicate with each other. This one is basically replacing the base. Make sure that you have running battery on this one because you will cut communication for everybody else if this one goes down. And also reading the manual, there is no indication on how to change the frequency I'm gonna consider this as a fixed frequency system. So it could be bad in some situation if you have interference because you're stuck with one frequency. They seem to run around the 1700 megahertz uh, band for North America. So uh, really out of the way of any wireless system that I'm usually using, which is more in the 500 megahertz. You should be good with these for a proper show use. They should not be in the way of your wireless or in-ear system at all. They seem to be really far from it. They advertise a working distance of 450 meter away from the main headset. If you are doing the big arena show and 1500 feet is not enough for you, well, just get a repeater. They do offer a uh, local repeater station and I believe those could be link. And if you need even more than that, well, you will need to look into another system. But that at that point, if you're doing event over such a big distance, you probably are in a different ball game. Anyway, let's be honest here. The working distance is something that matters to me, so I'm gonna put some music on here just, you know, to hear what's going on. I'm gonna go for a walk and see how far I can go with being in a basement, you know, having wall concrete next to me. I'm curious how far I can get and still get communication with these. Power on. Power on. I'm gonna drop the microphone in between those headphones and I'm gonna put some music in there and let's go for a walk so apologies for the low lighting it's night uh, i'm having the headphones on i'm still here hearing some music uh, but my mic is mute right now let's see let's see how far i can go until i get no signal uh, so a couple other information that I didn't say already uh, This has a built-in noise gate. I'm hearing it right now when the quiet part of the music go down uh, I hear the noise gate clamping And I look like a fool walking in the street with a headset on right? So I'm a couple Hundred feet away from my place and by the way the headset is in the basement So there's a concrete wall between me and the headset uh okay i thought i was i think i'm in between song this is why it's not working no okay it's still going oh okay i'm start i start to hear interference i walked a little more and oh if i'm turning my head around i'm still getting it but i, I can still hear what's going on here so i'm um, about a hundred meter 
away from the headset until I get nothing. But in the basement, it's not line of sight. The website advertised line of sight. This is not a big production headset. This is not sold as, you know, you gotta do arena stuff with it. But uh, I believe this is fine. For smaller production, you can be, uh, you know, a couple hundred meters away from each other because this is the main station, right? So everybody that is around 100 meter away from me uh, in those condition will still talk to me so if you're a director maybe and you need to talk to your crew make sure that maybe you have the master headset so that way uh, they can be you know always in line with you honestly it's fine i mean i had worse result with reputable brand of microphone so close enough for rock and roll and maybe some corporate event In conclusion, I think this is a fine system for uh, small to medium sized production. If you're doing a Reno, like I said before, this, there's other option out there, more uh, costly of course, but I think this is just fine for what it is. So I hope you liked that video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and until the next one, I want you guys to please take care of yourself and I'll see you all later. Yeah, really interesting. Honestly, with four more batteries, uh, to me, this will be a keeper. Thanks, Cam TV.